Timote facial wash. Why? The wife said she'd rather have some juice and slippers. Part one of Successful Sewing is on sale now. Don't miss it. And it's made by Boots. Have a nice day. Thank you, matey. years, we've accomplished more than in all the centuries since time began. Why, just 50 years ago, it took 10 days for a letter to get from L.A. to New York. <laughs> well, some things never change. But today, we live in the most exciting time in the history of the world. And now people everywhere wonder, what are we going to do with all our knowledge and know-how? For instance, that little light behind me. It's produced by a laser beam. We all remember laser beams from Buck Rogers, right? Zap! You're soot. <laughs> the countries all over the world spent billions of dollars developing the laser beam as the ultimate means of destruction. Well, hold on to your hats. It doesn't work. <laughs> They're just sick about it. Lasers have hundreds of practical uses, but as a weapon, it's a pit. It won't kill, it won't destroy, it won't blow up anything. Wouldn't it be great if it was the ultimate weapon after all? I mean, you could just aim it at somebody and they'd get well. Oh, I've had enough, Gilby. I'm finished with this bloody family. I'm leaving. You are number six. One is not a number. Yes, it is. Oh, you know what one means. One is a free woman. <laughs> Hi, I'm number four. Where am I? The palace. You'll learn to like it. What do you do? Nothing. No one does. Everything is provided. Well, they won't keep me here. I'm getting out. Stop! There's no escape, ever! <laughs> the prisoner is trying to escape, Mom. Excellent. You again. I've been expecting you. Dinner? We've prepared your usual. You see, we know everything about you. <laughs> Escaping in Sector 47. Go to Orange Alert. <laughs> ah! No! No! Oh, oh, Gilby. Thank goodness. It was only a dream. I can't possibly accept your point of view. To take life is the ultimate wrong. It's basic to all civilized ethics. Really, Miss Winter? You accept, I suppose, the gallows, the guillotine, and the gas chamber, and not to mention the field of battle. Brandy. 
No, thank you. I never touch spirits. Pity. Taken in moderation, it can greatly clarify the mind. Thank you. My mind is perfectly clear on the one topic that concerns us. All killing is wrong. Uh, and yet you commissioned mine. That was quite different. My dear girl, you don't go into a butcher to buy a steak and then question his morality in killing the cow. Really, you're impossible. I shall return to my carriage. Shall I accompany you? No, thank you. I'm sure you are the one in need of the brandy. Cognac, monsieur? Please. Uh, uh, Excellent, uh, Lady Yates. <laughs> Anything further, sir? Just a cigar, thank you. A cigar. That'll be all, thank you. Not quite all, Ivan. You know, these new Leishner waxes are fantastic. Thank you, Ivan. And now there is much sadness in the world. And there must be a little more. Or won't you at least permit me to finish my brandy and cigar? The drink, certainly. The cigar will take too long. The uh, kitchen staff won't stay locked in the galley forever. <coughs> While you were enjoying yourself in Paris, Ivan, I was preparing this operation. You will admit it has the merit of surprise. <laughs> His ode. Behold her beauty, fine as gold, as great as Rome's fair cities. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> but greater by far and joy to behold is the greatness of her intellect. I couldn't think of a word to rhyme there. Is there one? The, the sender of the first correct solution <laughs> will receive two free tickets to our spectacle. The specialists, usually they do something, you know, each week that we go. He's still got his wires in, has he? No, definitely. They cut the... You know that he was wired up completely. Mm. And um, the hip is healed. His is hip's it? healed. It's a fantastic wound. But they've now cut the wires that went down each side yeah. of the jaw. And they've cut the bottom wires. So all that Andy's got now is the splints that go right over the, his teeth so he still at the can't open his mouth? He can just... Show his oh, tongue, yes. which is rather nice. But I know at home, a couple of days ago, we had waffles. He said, I can, I can manage a waffle. Suck I can on manage. a waffle. Oh, it was pathetic <laughs> yeah. to see him. Yes. But um, we, I hope that he'll have the splints off on the bottom um, in a week. And then in another week or a fortnight, he'll have the top ones off. I don't know how they get them off, because it looks as though they're screwed on. Yeah. Um, so my, my, my drawing was right, wasn't it, it with was, all the bolts? And yes. <laughs> I said to McCarthy. Like a James Bond film. Was, yeah. But then we'll know if the bone graft is taken. Oh, I'm sure yeah, it has. So, I'm but sure look, it'll keep is that the last crossed. operation he'll have, then? No, they get, there's lots of tidying up. And, of course, he'll have to go straight back for a, his palate to be repaired. God, Daphne. He, now, that marvelous. photograph was taken two Sundays ago, and he has still wired at each side and still got, got the... It's marvellous. He's so nice-looking, isn't he? Daphne said in the early so days, I mean, years ago, when you first... You saw the first operation, she said he's going to be the best-looking yes. of your three boys. And they're all good-looking, aren't they? I mean, so he's going to be absolutely... Well, well Russell's they, rather lovely. <laughs> he's your favourite. But <laughs> I, th I think, yeah. you know, Andy, when he's finished, I think this, it, w it will all look really good. The name? Uh, Street. Rupert Street. Occupation? Pianist. Um, no. Could you put composer? And the name of your intended? Oh, <clears throat> Mrs. Rupert Street. Her own name? Oh, um... Well, I haven't anyone in mind as yet. <laughs> I just wanted to make a booking for September the 13th. You see, it's my birthday. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I, I just wanted to have everything ready for the big day. Well, Mr. Street, I think you'd find that your big day might go off with rather more of a bang 
if you were to secure the committed services of a person of the opposite sex. You mean, um, if your little woman came into it somewhere? Uh, precisely. <laughs> Two heads better than one, that sort of thing. <laughs> so, why not pop along and uh, pick up something that tickles your fancy? Oh. And then, provided that you give us the three days... Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> provided you give us the three days statutory warning, I see no reason why we should not fall in with your little plans. Oh, thank you. Until that time, I should be grateful if you would stop wasting my time. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Street. <laughs> and good hunting. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.